welcome to Co-op the Podcast. This is your host, Raven. And Jesse is here as well. You're here. In well. In well. If it's in a well, I don't want it. <laughs> so yes, welcome to our ninth episode of Co-op the Podcast, a weekly podcast where we talk about all things nerd, all nerd things. culture, all things really. We just, yeah. we don't like to limit ourselves mostly because we don't know how. We just can't. Right. We don't know how to stop ourselves. Like clear Windex. It's really weird because Windex is normally blue. Are What's you it, just why like, is it clear? What, What's with clear Windex? You can't stop the Windex. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, why now you might see it. Why are you looking at that bottle and now bringing that bottle know. into our podcast? Because I remember talking about it when we bought it. Well, it has vinegar in it. It's streak-free, which is a damn lie, because there are streaks all over my table. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not streak-free. It's no. never streak-free. No. But, Windex, like, you lie what's bastards. the difference between this one and the blue one? Like, does the blue one not have vinegar in it? Does the vinegar make it not blue? The Why is blue, it not blue? Yeah. I mean, maybe the vinegar reacts yeah. and makes it not blue. Or I'm maybe thinking, they like, just didn't put the dye in. You know, you're like, okay, I got this vinegar Windex. It's clear. You get a refill bottle because we use the refill bottle for the carpet cleaner, right? Yeah. Let's say we were to do that. Yeah, I have no fucking clue. Yeah, say we were to do that for the Windex, but it'd be blue Windex. But we put it in the vinegar bottle because we were refilling. But then when we get confused next time we go to the store because the vinegar one is clear, but we have blue at home, is it different? No sense. It does. It makes a lot of sense. And the people aren't here for Windex. This isn't the. Windex the podcast. We've also probably lost Windex as a sponsor because we talk shit about them, but that's okay. We didn't need yeah. them anyways. Windex has got like five money. minutes of airtime on a podcast. I'm well, pretty sure they have never crappy. advertised for a podcast ever before. We talked about how crappy they are, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just edit out the part about streaks. <laughs> no, we're keeping it. All right, so uh, let's get started. Let's start with some announcements. Um, yeah, because we got stuff for sale now. We do we got merch. merch. If you love the deliciously designed logo and icon that Ashbriel, uh, hentai sandwich, or I think it's Unagi underscore A on Instagram, we'll know. definitely put her information know. on our Twitter and Instagram and Facebook about um, following her because she's amazing. But she designed our logo and whatnot, and it's now on Pop Sockets, and you can buy them. Yep. For the low, low price of an amount that I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's $15. Yes, the low, low price of $14.99 on Amazon. So you can get them prime. So you can get them in like a couple days. Yep, two days free shipping. Woohoo. Free shipping. And we also have shirts. We have shirts on Amazon as well. All this we stuff do. did we put oh, on our oh. website? Well, so, uh, no, no, yeah. So the pop sockets are on sale on Amazon. We're waiting to put the t-shirts up on Amazon just yet because we want to see what they look like in person. We're getting Ah, ours in on Tuesday. So that was kind of a thing. We were delayed a lot in getting the t-shirts back. So they're coming in on this upcoming Tuesday for us, and we're going to get to see them, and we'll have ours for Emerald City Comic Con. Will we have the rest for Emerald City Comic Con? Only time will Hopefully. tell. As long as it gets approved and goes through the process. Yeah. 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 Amazon is very particular. But we got Prime, y'all. We got Prime. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> we'll post them to the website um, once I figure out how to do that. And, yeah, so you can buy those on Amazon. Like I said, Pop Sockets are $14.99. We're still playing around with the price of the T-shirts. Uh, so we'll let we'll post that on social media when we get those prices all together. Yeah, and then we have various other shirt designs and stuff that will probably pop up on the store yeah. and stuff eventually, too. Yeah, lots of so. D&D-themed. Yeah, the merch is going to start uh, flowing through our, yep. our stuff. So we'll, we'll say funny things, we'll talk about things, we'll put on a shirt. <laughs> we'll put them on shirts. You'll we'll wear sell. them. It'll be great. Yeah. Everybody enjoys a good shirt. Okay, yeah. And so with that, uh, Emerald City Comic Con, that's still coming up right now. It's yep. March 14th through the 17th, yes. which makes it from when this comes out. This will come 10 out. 10 days? Yes. About 10 so. days. Mm-hmm. So we'll be there. Um, we'll be posting where we are on social media so you can come meet us come hang out with us uh, let us know what panels you're going to um and you'll probably see us we can 
hang out. Be our friend. Yeah, we're super friendly. We hang out with everybody. We do. Yep. We'll be at the beer garden. Yep. Yeah, maybe we'll buy Probably. you a drink if you're lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. If you want beer and you're over the age of 21. Right, that's the real thing. It's like, yeah. we can't just buy oh, beer. We gotta drinks. check your I guess they but... check for us. You know, you know what you don't they're going to do. Garden unless you're 21. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But if they're, you're a bunch of teenagers and you're outside of our local gas station and you're trying to get us to buy you booze, we're not going to do it. Why would we do that? Except for money. No, we're not doing it. God damn. Pass yeah, and then, uh, yeah. They listen for sure. For sure. Uh, All the cops. No, Every our cop. podcast is, is on a band that the man can't listen to. That's true. We're so anti the man. The man. Uh, Patreon, kidding, that's coming still. Too. Right? God damn it. We're Moving so... On. Yes, the Patreon is coming too. Um, I said by the end of February that it's... That's a damn lie. It's a damn but lie. But <laughs> once we have the shirts and stuff on there, we can start giving those ways like a tiered reward. I yeah. think that was our real like slow down is just trying to think of what to give people. For yeah, it's Patreon really stuff, hard yeah. to like kind of when you're a creator to put value to what you're offering. So that was kind of the tricky thing for us to do. Now we've kind of gotten everything um, set up as to what the tiers are going to be. So that'll it all come together the beginning of March. By hopefully the Ides of March. Yeah. If you know what day that is, I think it already passed. So. No, I think Ides of March is the fifteenth. Alexa, what's the Ides of March? Ides of March is usually defined as the fifteenth of March. Hey. Says our guest speaker. (laughs) Yes. Thank you. (laughs) Guest speaker. Guest speaker. Yep. Our guest for today. Yes, she is a speaker, (laughs) Jesse. Yeah, my parents were gonna get married on the Ides of March, but my dad didn't find it as funny as my mom. Cause I don't yeah. know, stabbing. I don't know. Yeah, he knows. yeah. But yeah, so that's it for announcements, really, right? Like, and then we're yep. moving on to you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay. So uh, last week is our first week of the giveaway, which yes, we'll talk more Jessie's, about what you have to do this week to enter at the end. At the end of this episode, but Jesse's give a palooza is here and in full force. We've yep. gotten a bunch of entries already, so... Yep, uh, and we're going to give away two. at least one copy of Kingdom Hearts 3, yeah. is what we're going to do, but I might just want to give away multiple, multiple copies. Multiples, yeah, that's what I've been telling people. You corrected me last week, and I had to edit it out, so now it's it's on the internet. We're giving yeah, away well, that's the thing, is like, I, I, well, maybe... I want to, maybe I feel lucky. Maybe I drop two names and I'm like, hey, both of you have it. Maybe I drop two names and I pick whichever one sounds coolest and they get it. Yes. <laughs> you don't know. But <laughs> I think, we'll uh, yeah, we might give away multiple copies uh, yes. while we're at it. That and our t-shirt. So Kingdom Hearts 3 and our brand mm. new t-shirt, which I posted some mock-ups on our uh, Twitter. So if you want to see what those look like, head on over to our Twitter at Call the Podcast. So yeah. Uh, that's our giveaway. Last week's prompt, which I will talk about at the beginning of this episode, uh, you still have a chance to answer this prompt by uh, March 31st, but last week's prompt was, uh, what's your favorite anime? Um, and we got or was some... a recommendation. It wasn't necessarily their favorite. Yeah, what rec- recommendations? Or, yeah. That's true. Because we were looking for new stuff, but of course we've seen a lot of, like, you know, the, the popular... Yeah. The, pop anime yeah the, the naruto's of the world yeah the really good stuff so that's yeah. kind of like we really enjoy those those yeah. are great levels of expectations uh, yeah but so there's a lot more out there right it's true yeah. um and some of the submissions that we got were one was a uh, full metal alchemist um uh, which i have not watched all yeah, the way through yeah. but you have yeah, um, I watch. Well, and so there's like the different ones too. Yeah, Brotherhood. Yeah, Brotherhood. I think there's even three basically because there's one, the original run where it's like and it ends. So it's like mostly the manga and then it goes off and then it ends on mm-hmm. its own sort of thing. Does some filler. Yeah, then there's Brotherhood, which is more true. Brotherhood. To how it was written, yeah, and then there's like a third one I think that might be like some sort of mashup. Of the two, where it's, like, slightly oh, altered. Oh, right, because when we were looking at it on Netflix, there's, like, multiple different ones, and then there was one that cut out kind of in between. It was weird. It was really weird. We got to figure yeah. it out. And that was just for me to watch it, but I don't like to be hurt. And so I don't really... I would like to watch Full Metal Alchemist, but I have to be in a really different mood. 
past. Yeah, and it's kind of like you need to get past the beginning. The beginning of every anime is sort of the slow. Well, it's not the slow. It's just the sad. I don't want to be. I don't know. Inside. Like I, they're slow. They're all they're all slow and boring at the beginning, and I then don't they think so. get better. Then there's a tournament. Right, I like the tournaments and mangas, <laughs> but uh, the like. So, for example. I'll talk about Naruto when he's like a kid and they're doing stuff. That's boring compared to when he becomes a teenager in Shippuden. Like, Shippuden is better. Is that what it's called? And then, boom, so much cooler. I do like Shippuden better, but I also think, like, shit's hitting the fan in Shippuden. Shippuden. (laughs) Shippuden. Shippuden. I think it is pronounced. I think. I don't know. Um, So, yeah, but Full Metal Alchemist was one. Um, Then there are a bunch that we hadn't heard of, um, like... I think it's pronounced Nisekoi, which is a romantic comedy anime manga kind of thing, which is definitely... Shoujo? Which is... I yeah, that's I believe that's... that's yeah. We need to watch more of those, because I've never actually watched And I think that that's shoujo. my... That would be my kind of cup of tea. I read... Uh, there's one where, like, there's these two high schools or prep schools, and one's a human school, and one's a vampire school, and this girl starts going to the vampire school, or... I don't, I don't remember. But it was, like, one of the more, more popular ones, like, a decade ago. Oh, okay. Uh, and I read that. But I mean, I'm down for that. Yeah. I'm down for... I mean, they're pretty cool. Like, they still have cool power, vampire powers. And they yeah. still fight each other. It's Which just is, a really annoying... I want the lovey-dovey. <laughs> yeah, I hate like that slow. sometimes. Because like, like, the ones that we watch, the Shonen bitch. Jump, like, really, uh, like, Naruto and stuff, and Fairy Tale, because we're watching Fairy Tale right now, you're like, those people need to get together, but then right, they never it, put like, them together because... Well, they just don't That's not what they're here for. Yeah. And, and, and to be fair, I think the shoujo ones, they're not going to put them together really yeah. till near the end either. Damn it. They're going to keep bumping awful. into each other more. But, like, for example, Fairy Tale, right? Like, at, that we're watching right now. Juvia and Gray, right? You're like, oh yeah, they should get together, right? Their and they keep sort of like be better. Yeah, getting they almost, together, they bump into each other. Juvia is obviously pursuing I Gray. Mean, very obviously pursuing yeah. Gray. <laughs> I think that's a sh- that's a show right there. Like that right. story, they're still not going to get together till the end when right. he finally acknowledges her or whatever, yeah. or vice versa, whatever. Yeah. 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 So some other ones, um, Haiku, which is a volleyball shonen. Um, which I've only, I've actually heard of that one before and I've only heard good things about it. And then... There's a couple other sports ones out there that I yeah, think Yeah, like, like um, what's the ice skating one? Yu, Yuki on Ice? Yuki on Ice? I do not know. I believe that that, that's one of them. Volleyball, uh, like, I think this one might be the volleyball one that everybody talks about. I know there's, like, baseball, about. there's, like, a couple baseball ones, I think. And then there's, like, a football one, and then there's, like... Yeah. You want... Yeah. You want anime with your, or sports with your anime? We got it. Yeah. Um, well, so like, this one is, like, like martial arts I consider a sport, right? Okay. So there's somewhere it's, like, martial arts fighting, which mm-hmm. reminds me, uh, History's Strongest Disciple, Kenichi. Uh-huh. Or something like that. I think there's an anime for it. That's really good. Uh, what's the one, Shaman King, we need to watch? Shaman King you've talked about. Yeah. yeah. And then there's one other I was just thinking of that we need to watch, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Oh, well, Air Gear is on here. That was a really good one, too. Air Gear is a good one. Okay. It's about, um, it's sports, it's uh, rollerblading. It's a sport. Oh, my gosh. And it's actually, it's really good, though. Johnny Tsunami! Yeah, it's over. It, it's over. Or it's it over. says it's ongoing, really? Like. Well, so, another one that somebody recommended um, is an anime called Food Wars. Uh, the same person actually gave us all three of these. And uh, we'll start kind of uh, announcing people's. I don't have their like Instagram accounts. Well, yeah, and at the end of the month too, we'll kind of do the final. Yeah, but he also recommended Food Wars, which is like a food culinary life, like chef life kind of um, manga and anime. Um, And that sounds like something you and I would really like. It's not like like Tariko. No, there's not. It's not like Tariko though, where it's like. Yeah. They cook, and then the food powers them up, and then they can fight and stuff. No, that's not. I don't yeah. think that that's what Food Wars is. Um, so, yeah. So, we're really excited to see what we else We should have people, a good list. Yeah, we should have a really good list of what people um We're going to have like. to actually watch, watch it, though. So, yeah, that's yeah. true. We can't continue yeah. to watch Fairy Tale over and over and over again. Right, well, we should finish Or it. The Office. <laughs> we yeah. can't watch The Office again. I'm going to have to watch some of these without you, probably. That's okay. Or you can watch them while you're at work too instead of listening to podcasts. Yeah, but I listen to them in Japanese. I can't. I yeah. Can't. 
I'm just gonna learn. Japanese. I gotta just learn Japanese. Okay. It's not hard. Let's move on because we're not even in our hotcakes yet. So, oh well, yeah. I mean, like we're going. Let's whatever do it. Pace. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Um. So our hotcakes. We're talking about the first thing we're gonna talk about is something that has the month of February just in its grasp. Like it has just taken over. Yeah, are a lot of other people talking about it online. Us, I mean, a lot of people online are. A lot of people like this show so far. Um, it's the Umbrella Academy. It's actually good. been it's good. Um, it uh, second season has already been ordered, so it's doing really well. Um, yeah. And we loved it. We thought it was so good. The music is really good. Yeah, and we'll say we've neither of us has, have ever read the the, the books. The, yeah, what are, what are I they feel like they, they should be like, like graphic books, novels, like graphic volumes. Novels. They're graphic yeah. novels. They are. They're volume one and they're volume two. Yeah, and I think this... volume three came out like last year yeah. after like a few year hiatus. And I think that's what kind of sparked somebody's interest in it to get it on Netflix. Really? Okay. So, I, mean, I think, I mean, it was, writer, looks like it was like 2012, 2013, and then it was like 2017. Yeah. Let's talk about the writer real quick yeah. of Umbrella Academy. It's Gerard Way, who is the lead singer of yours and mine, beloved mm-hmm. band, My Chemical Romance. Are you sure that that's true and it's not two different people named no, Gerard No, 100%. Way. I know that it's him. <laughs> I looked it up. I know that that is his name, too. So, um, he wrote it, um, with illustrator, um, Gabriel Ba. Uh, so one thing that I really liked about the TV show is it kind of reminded me of, like, Sin City, where it kind of felt like a comic book. Whereas Sin City does that whole it's, very stylized I version. Think that it's whole like a thing tamed is, version of that. But yeah. the cadence of it, like felt like I was turning pages and reading panels. Yeah, and I think book. every time they've kind of turned a graphic novel into a show, show or movie or whatever, they do that style. Because, like, think <clears throat> Watchmen has that sort of feel. Uh, right. So. But again, so the the thing that I like what about else? Umbrella Academy is it's kind of grungy and kind of dark, but it's pretty, it's kind of realistic. Like, they didn't over-stylize anything, really. It was really good. You couldn't really tell what year it was set in until they said it was 2019, but it kind of felt well, like... Well, so it's 2019, but the, the books are based in like 1977. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the so point. So they kind of made it feel like ambiguous. A little, a little bit, between yeah. the two. Like nobody had smartphones. Like nobody was just like calling each other up. Yeah. I think maybe they texted each other a couple times and that was like the most technology you saw. Yeah, but they like used pay phones, which I'm pretty sure pay phones don't actually exist yeah. anymore. It's like just call. Like, yeah. There's just, just like the empty hustle. Literally be like, hey, five. What's up, man? Where you at? Where are you at? Because like he's the hardest one to keep track of. That's true. Give him a phone. Exactly. So Give the little at, boy a phone. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's really good. Who is your favorite character out of uh, the Umbrella Academy? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question, because I don't know that I like any of their personalities the most. I don't no. know that I like any of their powers the most. Other than Five's power probably be the most useful day-to-day. I like his personality, too. Like, I thought he was yeah, really yeah, he's, funny. Yeah, he's actually pretty good. But, like, all their personalities, like, I kind of like them. But, like, there's no none that's, like... He's the funniest, or she's the funniest. They're all like... No. There is an answer. They all have their Your moments. answer is wrong. There is an answer. The answer is Klaus, because Klaus is the best character yeah. in the whole damn show. Klaus is good. I think he's a little overdone sometimes, though. Like, he has a lot of good moments, but then sometimes it's too much. Yeah, supposedly but in it's the never comic books, too. You. Oh. Yeah, and supposedly in the comic books, too, he's a little... Um, he's worse, mm-hmm. and... Instead of having like a really good progression and a really good story like he does in the in the TV show where he has growth, he actually takes steps back. Yeah. So I mean, I would like to. I'm probably going to read the graphic novel just to get an idea of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think this one was basically based off the first one. So it's like season two because we can kind of lean into it. So there's. Two that are out for sure. The third one I'm pretty sure came out, but it might not have even come out yet for the book. I think it's out. But we could probably be pretty certain that, you know, the seasons will align to the books. Right, because that's so, what it did in the first one. Yeah, you know, uh, without giving away what happens at the end. It's pretty important, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but I think if we went back and we read the books, we might, you know, be enlightened a little bit more. But we're going, Or else I might just call the fact that they're being a little bit money grubby and making a second season because they could have ended it. No, I don't think so. 
I think that it calls for like a second season. It's not like because Jesse, you feel that way. Yeah, about I, I'll other say like TV that shows. is like my go-to thing. I always would, I would love any TV show to have a really strong season one and then just never do another season, or you know, finish a story. Like yeah, if, if your the story, story is takes finished, Game of Thrones, for example, if they had stuck to the books, finish the story out like the books, well, the, which aren't the done aren't yet, done. which is like part of the problem, but just you know. Which is what if, they're for doing example, technically yeah. with the next season. They're yeah, but there's just some stuff they throw in there, right? And you're like, of course. It just feels like, like they're dragging it out. Yeah, yeah, they're just dragging it out to try and make more money. The one that like comes to mind the most is Westworld. Yeah, that was the one I was trying to. Yeah, because push you season to one. About. We haven't even watched season great. two. Though, I don't care. Audience. It doesn't matter. Season two means nothing. It's just their grab for yeah. money. I think that season one was really good, and they could have ended it there. We need to watch season two to really... I hear bad things, to be honest. I haven't yeah. heard anything. I think that uh, we have friends that liked it, like season two, but it wasn't as good as season one. Yeah, so, that's true. That's but, true. It's like the bad things I hear is in comparison to season one. Yeah, because right? season one was so good. Yeah. And that's kind of what happens a lot in TV in that sense is, like, this first season was so good. How do you live up to that? Right. And so let's let's see. Let's see what happens. But season two is, all, like Raven said, already booked. It's going to come already, out. Yeah. It probably lines up to the graphic novel. Yeah. The second volume. So we should definitely check that out. I think everybody should check out the graphic novel. And if you have Netflix, go check out the show you for sure. You have to watch it. Um, it's so good. Yeah, it's really, I'm sure you guys, when you're on Netflix, comes up as that little trailer at the beginning. So you guys have probably yes. <laughs> been like, oh, what is that? I need to watch it. But it's really good. If Comic you're waiting, books. just go for it. And it's only like, what, like 10 episodes? Yeah, like we an watched hour it in each, like, or so. uh, we watched it within a week. Yeah, three or four days. I yeah, think. within a couple yeah. of days. So. so really easy to watch, really good. Umbrella Academy, go check it out. Um, our, our next hot cake is. So this week we got some new trailers, um, one that's not on here that I'll just bring up. Uh, the new Hellboy trailer looks really great. I'm still oh, on yeah, that I, train. Yeah, I saw something on um, on Twitter about that. I didn't know it was like the new trailer. Yeah, it's but, a new trailer. Yeah, and then you check and out it looks the whole thing. really great. I still think it looks, I mean, at least Yeah, cool. I'm going to watch it, but yeah, same conclusion same that before. I have. Yeah. Which like is in a, when does uh, Captain Marvel? Uh, March 7th. March 7th. That's coming out soon, so. Yeah. That's not on here either. It's not a new trailer or anything, but it's coming out soon, so. You yeah, know. we'll probably go watch it and then we'll give you kind of like a yeah. rough hotcakes, not ruin anything kind of hotcakes. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to avoid spoilers and it talk is. about things, but. It's true. I'm going to give you like a general thumbs up, thumbs down, because since they deleted uh, Rotten Tomatoes comments. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, yeah, because it hasn't come out yet, and how do those people... Okay, we're not talking about it. We're not talking about those people. I just want to know. I just want to know what's I the know. score. Because, like, the, I, I've always looked at those scores before movies. Yeah, now, I what never do you do? really... So, who knows? Who knows? I never really take those to heart. I always see a movie if I want to see it. I don't oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still going to see it, but it's just sort of like uh, you go in there with expectations of either, this is going to be super good, or mm -hmm. expectations of, yeah, let's we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, another trailer that came out this week that I would like to talk about is uh, the new Dark Phoenix trailer. Um, the Dark Phoenix saga is one of my favorite X-Men arcs. And so, seeing this again, because uh, the last film, which had Hugh Jackman and all of them, and it came out in 2006, so it's about 12 years, 13 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since those came out, um, and Jackman's old. He is pretty old. He doesn't look that old. He's still. got the cancer too. You no, know, I, I think he's okay now. You never get rid of it though. You can <laughs> shut up. Um. So, first thoughts of this particular trailer because it kind of went a little bit more in depth. We got to see more. Uh, we got to see more Sophie Turner in the role and things like yeah, that. Yeah, she's um, playing Dark Phoenix. Yeah, she's playing Jean Grey. Um, and she played Jean Grey in the in Apocalypse. Right, right, right. right. So, what is the like Which timeline like, we're looking at? So, here? this is supposed to be ten years after Apocalypse, I believe. However, one thing, one problem that I keep having with uh, these X Men films that delve into the Dark Phoenix comic or saga is that they don't give it enough time because she has those powers with, um, for a while, even. Like, before it starts to corrupt her. And 
to dedicate one film to just that idea is, I mean, it just seems a little lazy, a little money well, hungry, because they're like, this is one of our most favorite or famous arcs. Let's just do that. It's like with um, Green Lantern, them trying to do all of the Sinestro core and all of the initial kind of Right. Lore. I'm just thinking, like, this is maybe not one that is easily translated to film. So what they did with that movie from before is they were like, you know, Jean Grey's kind of bad right now. But she wasn't the star of that movie by far. It's still a Wolverine movie, you know what I mean? Uh, so it was right, just sort and of it should definitely thing. be a Jean Grey movie. Well, well, they could. I just and think, like, really... what they did for a Wolverine movie, basically, was appropriate, sure. Right. You it's know? still called X-Men. It's not called Wolverine. Yeah, they were all and, uh, they, movies, I mean, though. Yeah. They didn't make it... In this one, who are, who's in it, though? Who's in this with her? Yeah, so... Sophie Turner is in it as Jean Grey, as I said. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence um, is back as Mystique, but from this trailer, it's only a little bit for a little, a small amount of time. Um, of course, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender in it. They look great, as always. You get to see Evan Peters as Quicksilver again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so Cyclops, Scott Summers, is Ty Sheridan who you know from uh, that movie that is nothing like the book, uh, Ready Player One. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So he's the main character in the film Ready Player One, and he is playing, or he plays Cyclops. Yeah. So. Okay, and then it looks like also there's going to have Storm in it. So She was in the Alexandra last one. Alexandra's ship, yeah. Was she in the last one? She was in Apocalypse, yeah. She was one of the four horsemen mm. that he chooses. Um, See, that's what I was, that's what I was, like, not remembering. Is Nightcrawler's like, supposed to be in this one, but I don't remember if Nightcrawler was in the last one. I do not. I think so. I think, I think he was. she rescued him from, like, a fight club or something. Somebody did. That might have been from the original. No, no, I, I think. I'm getting my X-Men Yeah, there's so many crossed. movies. That's why I wanted to know which characters are in this one, like. Are they bringing Hugh Jackman in as Wolverine? Hell no. Or are they going to get Halle Berry to come in and be Storm? No. Or are they going to get, like, you know, what are we talking about here? Yeah, no, they, yeah. they aren't doing any of that. And Jessica Chastain is in it, and she has a big part in the trailer where she kind of is, you know, the hand over so Sophie Turner, kind of, or Jean Grey. Yeah, she's manipulating. manipulating the Phoenix Force. Yep, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Oh, yeah, it looks like Colossus is going to be in it, maybe. Sure. Yeah, they have a few other people listed here as basically as undisclosed roles. One of the people on the undisclosed role is uh, Colossus, the guy who plays Colossus. And he just does the voice because they do all CGI for Colossus. Right. They have that. Uh, probably a couple other mutants in there. So that's what, like, so, okay, that's the whole thing with, like, the Dark Phoenix saga and stuff like that. I want to know who, who's standing opposite her, basically, on the screen that's going to do good out with her, right? That's the real question. Yeah. It seems like pretty bare bones. Right, to be like honest. obviously, like Professor X tries to keep it in check, right? That's, that's right, a, well, and you're you're also seeing that thing. in the trailer. You see Professor X is there, uh, Magneto is there, right? Because they come there. together when it's like big things like this, yeah. right? right. Against basic, almost the end yeah. of the world. Cause yeah, they they come together so. when it's like major things. Cyclops is always sort of in the Jean Grey story. So is Wolverine, mean, right? Yeah. He should be in there. What, what are they going to do, right? Are they going to have somebody like a younger looking Wolverine? But they don't have anybody. I mean, and at I that time, see. he would have been the same. It would have been Hugh Jackman, you know, because he ages really slowly, right? Like, so like he would have looked the same as he did. Right. Like, I think younger. also the problem might be with, I mean, Sophie Turner is obviously older now, but I don't think her Jean Grey looks that old. I don't know. Yeah, I think have that have like a Hugh Jackman CGI'd. just looks too. It has to be Hugh Jackman from old. the first movie. Yeah, exactly. Like how young he looked then. Yeah, and he looked great in the 2006 movie and was really great compared to right. I and they could probably CG like they did uh, Princess Leia. They could CG like, the whole thing. Uh, so no. you know they could He's do not it. Not even dead. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm excited about it. I mean, I'm still yeah. gonna watch it. And I'll give you guys... When does it come out? June 7th of this okay. year. And is this going to spark 
a trilogy or a series of movies just around this topic, or is this like a one movie? No, but it's, it's a, a one movie, which is the okay. frustrating thing because mm-hmm. it could have been really good as kind of like a. Is this meant to be watched with the other young X Men movies? Yes. Like a, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the same universe as all those other ones. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, too many X Men movies, and none of them tied into the other Marvel franchises, which is the real problem. Right, then that's but that's all a whole. I think it's a Sony thing because I believe Sony owns X Men, but they the don't rights to X Men, yeah, yeah, and they they also like, previously or they still do own the rights to Spider Man, but I think they just license it out to Disney in order for them to make have Spider Man appear in appear the, in those movies, movies yeah. yeah, which they could have done with X Men too, but well, I bet you it's a licensing fee per character, so it's like so it's a ton of characters. I don't want to make twenty of them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that that's uh, going to be a good movie, for sure. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I would like to see where it goes, so. Yeah, I agree. I think we'll definitely find out. I'd love to, I, the one, I mean, the biggest thing I just, I, I have to know who everybody is. Like, what mutants are going to be in it? What are their powers? What are they doing? Which ones are we talking about? Right. You know? And other than that, who cares, right? Like, trailer, the, story, whatever. Yeah. She'll be beaten, you know, save the world, blah, blah, blah. We yeah. all know. Yeah. But who's we doing know it? how it ends. We've been who's there. Who's doing it? Right. Yeah. Exactly. And they're changing it up from the 2006 film, and obviously they're changing it up from the comics at least a little bit. So. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so now we're kind of getting into what the theme is. We're, we still got a couple more hotcakes, but they're kind of related to what our theme was going to be mm-hmm. for this episode. Finally, uh, hour and a half in. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> it's only been a couple. It hasn't been that long. Yeah. Um, but Pokemon, 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 uh, gotta catch them That is them all. our topic, and it's our topic for a reason. Yes, it is, uh, because Pokemon Direct happened on the twenty seventh, which was uh, this past week, and a lot Where of things were announced. I on the internet in yeah. Japan, San Francisco, LA. I mean, Japan would make sense, but like. It's more. It's a worldwide thing, but I just feel like more people. Pokemon. Um, here uh, we have care. an office in our building. I That's think. for. It's it's with Nintex, Nintex, Nymantix. Yeah, whatever. The people but it's, go. it's actually Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, Pokemon Inc. Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, I just that, yeah. Pokemon. So you know, yeah. Pokemon. I don't know who who whoever, wherever it was. Pokemon Direct was on yes. February. Yes. February. Exactly. It was more of an announcement. It wasn't really like a big meeting thing. Shibla. Yeah. So, and a lot of other cool stuff happened this week um, in Pokemon. There was a new uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu trailer that came out that showed us a couple more Pokemon. Yep. Pokemans, yes. And Which, you know, for like, okay, so, starting there. Live action Pokemon. Yep. Meh. You know. No, I'm excited about Well, that's where you that. originally get, you're like, whatever, because like, hey, the world of Pokemon doesn't lend itself to reality because literally people be fat fucks with Pokemon, like, life in their ass. Right. Oh, you have like so you have sad. <laughs> that no. you can do whatever you want. I know. I always do whenever I'm playing Pokemon. I'm always like, this is kind of really upsetting. We're making our like, like we. Well, I wouldn't pay an electricity bill. Them, I'd just get a little generator and I'd get a Pikachu with a little yeah. wheel running right. around making and electricity. Like you're making them like hurt each other. I th- it's like yeah. dog fighting. Yeah, in a way, it absolutely is, and, and that that's a real world okay. parallel. That's yeah. why it has to be animated. Yeah. But it does look good. It's the Detective Pikachu story, so it's not like the traditional stories where yeah. you fight in a gym and like. You know. I think in this one, I think that he does. There might be, but like Detective Pikachu, Pikachu is always fights. like. We're Charizard gonna go and search in this trailer. For this. Yeah. 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 But yeah, we're gonna go search for this lost Pokemon and this, you know, blah blah blah. Like you're not really like taking down six Pokemon with your six Pokemon, yeah. forcing them to fight. You or know, it'll be a lot more jokey and like. Yeah. Campy and stuff. And I think that's the way to do it if you're going to do live. I don't think any other story would work. Uh, it'll be kind of cool. I think it'll be super cool. I'm yeah. really excited for it. As you can see, I'm always really excited for these new things. I never I want to go into it negatively. But I think it's going to yeah. be really good because Brian Reynolds sounds really funny. I think that I like the style. The... Uh, CGI of the Pokemon. I think that that looks really cool. Really, that's what. Yeah, they did a great job. I think yeah. you can CGI Pokemon really well. But then, if you were to like just actually make them sit there and fight each other the entire movie, and cool. it was like Blastoise and Charizard going at it. Yeah. You know, and like they were bleeding, and like it you would know, be so fur sad. Was flying oh, off, yeah. and like I don't want to be a part of somebody this. passed no. out. But they don't pass out in real life. 
they die. Yeah. They're killing each other. Yeah. That would be what it was like if two animals actually were going at it. Right. You know, you don't pass out and just take them to Nurse Joy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's, that's really upsetting. So that's the thing that's uh, interesting. But like I said, Detective Pikachu is not going to have that. So. And it's going to be good. And it's going to be funny. And we're really excited about it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Detective Pikachu comes out May 10th. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see that uh, yeah. as soon as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Once we get back from our trip, because that's right around the trip. Yep, yeah. No, yep. that's that's uh, that's cool. They're coming out with it quickly uh, from when I, when I heard about it, so. Yeah. That's always nice, too. Um, so. Some other things. So one thing that was specifically brought up in the Pokemon Direct is the and release of Gen 8. Yeah, which is the most important Yes, in yeah. the um, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Right, okay. And so what I want to talk about with that, too, is like, what is Pokemon Sword and Shield? Have you done any research on this yet? Like, yeah, what so, are the sword? What's the shield? Oh, Why? Okay. Well, I don't know. I didn't look too far into that. I think. Isn't there a Pokemon that's a sword and shield? Why is he not represented on the cover of these? That's a really good question, things. Jesse. I do not have the answer for you. All I know is that you get new starter Pokemon. Obviously, we're in a new area, so we're really um, getting all these new Pokemon. Yeah, I have it. His name is Hone Edge. He evolves into Dewblade, I think. Uh, anyways, he is literally a sword Pokemon. He should be on the cover of Sword, is all I'm saying. Maybe I don't know that if he is. has something to do with the whole thing, babe. Yeah. Maybe maybe you just cracked the whole reason of the game. Yeah, let's see. What are the uh, what are the starters for it? Did they announce that? Yeah, the starters are there are three new ones, you know, your huge um, yeah, if anybody fire, doesn't Fire, water, and a plant based yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, you start out in Pokemon, you have to pick one of three, and your rival's going to pick the one that has like the advantage to it. And I think ever since they introduced uh, dual types, which is mm-hmm. like Gen 3, maybe? Yeah, one of those I don't gens. remember. One Pokemon have multiple types, too. So like usually fire, water, and grass are your like base. But they usually have a secondary type as well. Because mm. uh, I remember Mudkip was water and earth. So therefore you got... And it was like the best because electricity doesn't hurt you. Even though you're right. water Pokemon and you're weak to it, you have big advantage of ground. Yeah. yeah. You so, got earth. Right? Yeah. So. So for your starter Pokemon, there is Score Bunny, which is a fire type. Um, it's like a rabbit. Um, it looks really cute. Really fun. Kind of jumping around. Um, looks like probably it's going to use a lot of speed. Probably higher in the speed category. And did we get um, the evolutions for these at all? Or no, no. I don't believe so. Not from what I saw in the trailer. Um, so that's Score Bunny. Um, next up is Sobble, which is a water type lizard Pokemon. And it looks like it has anxiety, so I really relate to this Pokemon. Um, I believe that it could go invisible and attack, so that's kind of cool. That's a cool kind of starter for you to have. And then there's Krooky. I think that's how you say it. Um, Krooky. Yeah. Krooky, Krooky, which is a grass, um, and it seems to kind of heal from the grass. And... Yeah, yeah, he's like a little monkey guy, it looks like. He's a little monkey guy. So there's a little lizard guy, a little bunny guy, and a little monkey guy. And I feel like when I'm just looking at them, I'm like, I'm just picking them because they're cute. Which one's yeah. the cutest? I do tend to lean a little towards, like, water-type Pokemon. Yeah, well, so if we go back to, let's just have, like, a whole section on starters right here. So Yeah, this is, we're let's... literally going into our theme. Yep, every starter Pokemon, ooh, ever, and ooh, let's look. Ooh. And there's a list, and then we can just go with, like, okay, these are the ones I would have picked. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Gen 1, the, the Kanto series. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Okay. I, I mean, I usually, so the way I did it, so my brother and I played together, obviously. He would get Charmander, I'd get Squirtle, and we'd trade, so that way we can have, like, the data entry. Yeah. You know. Uh, and then we would normally reset one of them, get Bulbasaur, so we have all three right. data entries, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and then just trade back well, and forth. But one? I usually played as Squirtle because Blastoise you could get like Hyper Beam, yeah, it was like and Blastoise. Hydro Pump, yeah. So that's what I was using. Yeah, 
Yeah, I so always use Squirtle. Yeah, yeah, I'd always go with Squirtle first. Yeah. I mean, technically Charizard is the better, we all know, because of his special yeah. attack. Because I think, like, all three of the starters, like, their stats, which Pokemon got really advanced as I got older, and you start looking at the stats, and you start saying, okay, so, like, all their stats can go up really high, but Charizard has the highest special attack of, like, any Pokemon, I think. Right. And so if you have, I think, Fire Blast or one of those, like, Flamethrower and stuff, any of the fire moves, like, you were just destroying people. Right. Unless exactly. they had a type advantage, right? Yeah, and so. it eventually gets really good when with uh, Charizard because he's a dragon type Pokemon so you no get no weakness yeah until they introduce fairy like right. four gems Which later yeah. Will, yeah yeah so of course uh, you could also have Pikachu if you count yellow but I don't, don't count yellow yeah no I was too uh, poor to have two different Pokemon yeah. games yeah <laughs> uh, okay Johto which is the second one which yes. was Chikorita which is yeah. this little like mean turd <laughs> <laughs> no, he was so cute though yeah Cyndaquil and Totodile which yeah. one did you pick I would always pick Cyndaquil. See, I always pick Totodile. Really? Yeah, I thought he was cuter, honestly. I thought that Cyndaquil was... Yeah. I, like, I remember watching the TV show, yeah. and Cyndaquil was in it, and I always thought that Cyndaquil was just the cutest fucking Pokemon. Yeah, see, Totodile looked like, uh, you know, he reminds me of Ripley. He was, like, he loud look like and, like, <laughs> jumpy and, like, you know. Yeah, uh, I did yeah. like Chikorita too, but I just kind of like Cyndaquil and uh, Cyndaquil's different um, evolutions. So. Yeah, and you know, I don't know which one was actually better. In this, I one. can't tell you. Uh, yeah, because after a while, I think while, they start like more, making them more even yeah. too as they go and stuff. So I will say that I did play some of my friends' other games, but after a while, like my parents were like, "We're not buying you another Pokemon game." You you do you want this or do you want the new Final Fantasy game? Yeah, I'm you not gonna lie by like I think my parents probably bought bought this one for me, but after this, like my brother and I think were working when like the next ones came mm -hmm. out and we were like we spent money on them for sure. Right. I think like the like it was like we started working when like probably the Gen Four were coming mm -hmm. out and we went back and bought Gen Three at the time because I remember buying it like super cheap on uh GameStop or whatever the wall where it was on. I will say stuff, yeah. I think I didn't get another my own Pokemon game until Pokemon X and Y. So let's let's keep yep, going. Let's keep going. The okay, the third gen one. So they're Trico, which is like a gecko looking guy. Trico, a leaf one. Yeah, probably gecko. Trico. Trico. Yeah. Trico. No, yeah. You're right. It's Trico. Torchic, his little firebird. Yeah. Firebird guy. Uh, then Mudkip, who I already talked about, is like a little like weird looking fish guy. He actually looks a lot like the fish dude from the latest gen, Gen Eight. Yeah. Um, he looks kind of just like it. Yeah. He kind of does, yeah. yeah. But I would always pick Mudkip because of the Advantage type, but before I knew the Advantage type, I picked Torchic, like, my first playthrough. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, man, these dudes can totally, like, water ground. That's dope as fuck. Right. And I, like, I would always go with Mudkip, so. Yeah. He was the when he was the way play. to go. I'm actually, I'm looking at this, too, and I, I think probably the best one would have been Trico if he could... He's not good until it's final evolution because type wise, like they all have multi type. He's grass Water and until ground is good. His yeah, final and then evolution. they get dragon, and then that that was before they introduced fairy. So dragon right. was still top shit, you know. Yeah, top shit. Yeah. Okay. Then the next one, the Sinnoh one, which was like four, which was Turtwig, which is like a little turtle guy. Yeah, he's cute. Uh, he cute. Yeah. He kind of looks like a dinosaur. Chimchar, little monkey. Little monkey and fire Piplo. guy. I picked Piplo, little penguin guy. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I didn't actually play this one, I will say. I will be honest. I, ha yeah. I didn't play this one or the next one. So but then if who I was, would you have picked, yeah? I probably would have picked Chimchar. He's cute. He's a cute little buddy. Yeah, he's a cute little monkey for he's sure. He's a cute little monkey guy. And for April's good too, technically. yeah. But for some weird reason, plant-based Pokemon just did not interest me. I would always end up with, like, I having Bellsprout like and, yeah. like... You know what? I think my Bell very first... really powerful, but that's Yeah, it. my very first playthrough ever, I picked Bulbasaur. Oh, did you really? Yeah, but other than that, I Both think I really went back and when I played through again. Again, so. I pick my Pokemon based off of how cute they are. And yeah. that's just how I like to play. And that's what I collected Pokemon cards, and I collected them based on how cute the person or the character was. Yeah. So. Okay, and so this one I can say I actually skipped, which is the Unova, the black and white. I didn't actually play this one. I bought the game. You bought the game and never you didn't played play it. it? Yeah. Damn, babe. So... So I never picked any of them, but Snivy, who's a little, like, yeah, reptile-looking leaf guy. Yeah. 
Tepig, who's like a pig looking fire guy. Fire guy, yeah. Yeah, and then Oshawott, a little. <laughs> he looks so like cute. an otter. I think he's an otter. Uh, yeah, I, I would, what I would say that. Or like a beaver looking thing. Um, I can't see what his like, evolutions look like, but yeah, I think you're right. He looks like an otter. Yeah, and this one, I honestly don't know who I would pick. I may have actually picked uh, Snivy there, the really? grass uh, lizard guy. Because, you know. Oshawott. <laughs> yeah, Oshawott looks kind of boring. But cute. Uh, like Trepig looks. Fun, he does and I fun. might have picked that one, but I think that Snivy might have been like his eh, evolution. This would have been where like Tepe, yeah, sure. His evolution is Pig Knight. Yeah, and like, then Embor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like it's Ember. So funny. Yeah. Okay, and then this one I definitely did play. I did. Play I remember when it came out. I was in Colorado on like a work trip. I went to a store and bought it, and I bought a DS because I was like, I want to play it. Yeah, I also did the exact yeah. same thing. <laughs> But X and Y, yeah, and it was uh, Chespin, who's like a little, uh, he's sort of like a squirrel. A squirrel, I guess. yeah, yeah leaf, a, leaf, a leafy leaf squirrel. Type, yeah. yeah. Uh, Fennekin, which was the fox, who Looks, is yeah. like fire, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Froakie, who is the frog water, and I picked Froakie. I picked Froakie. We have yeah. a little Froakie mm. uh, stuffed animal in our home. Yeah, they were just I like, like Froakie. Froakie. Uh, apparently water type is what I pick all the time. You, yeah, yeah you I really picked did. water basically every time. Yeah. Uh, so, and you know, yeah, these ones, I, I know, this is where they ha- introduced Fairy. Is it? And, yeah, this is the one where they introduced, I think, maybe they did it before this, but this is the one where I started paying attention to Fairy, and like, so, I paid attention to type this entire time. I remember researching the types ahead of time, and yeah, Fennekin has Fire Psychic, which is really good uh, mm-hmm. combo, but Dark is a super underrated combo. Right. Uh, and Greninja, I think is his name, right? The yeah, final evolution the of Froki mm-hmm. is, is super powerful if you play him right. Yeah. Uh, and this is one where they have like the the super evolutions, right? And so I was already going to have, because uh, they only had a certain amount of the super evolutions available at the beginning. Uh, now I think like every Pokemon has like a mega evolution. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, I think every so, Pokemon has one now. So actually, a lot of them. I, look, I just looked it up. So it looks like six mm-hmm. generations. 6th gen is when they that was, released fairy type and uh, mega evolution. Yep, that was X and Y. Yeah. So yeah, so they... Uh, is that X and Y? No, yep, it says... that's 6. Because we're on... A 7 is Aloha and then Galar, which is the one we just read. Like, the, is gen 8. Yeah. Okay, so. okay, okay. Yeah, right. X and Y. But yeah, so mega evolution, they only had a few at the beginning. Charizard, they had uh, Lucaria, or is that the wolf the dra- guy? Oh. Yeah, Lucario is what I was thinking of. It was one of the first ones to get a Mega Evolution. Oh. Blaziken got a Mega Evolution. Charizard did. Mewtwo. Um, they all got Mega at the beginning. And then they slowly sent patches down. Oh, and we mega totally evolutions. skipped. Because you haven't seen... Have you watched the Detective Pikachu trailer? The latest one? No. Yeah. It has Mewtwo in it. He's oh, so yeah, okay, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw that, yeah. So smooth. Anyway, that's, so that's the that. only thing Mewtwo I have is. to say about and Mewtwo that. And Mewtwo is really, he's my favorite, to be honest. Yeah. Pokemon. Like, it's a cop-out, but Mewtwo it's is such a cop-out. Yeah. It's like when I asked uh, Jesse what kind of dragon he would be, like D&D dragon, he's like, I'll be the platinum dragon. Yeah, you the can't be a god. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, in this one, I definitely picked Froakie, so, you know. Same. Al- Alola? Alola? Uh, which is the like which island is cool. tropical? Yeah, the island tropical. Never one. played it. Just we should. We were we too should. busy. We need we to were. get. We need to go back and play all of them. What I would really love is for Nintendo to release all of them on the on Switch. Switch, and then I, I could play them all on the Switch. The, is Gen Eight going to come out on the Switch? Is that yeah? It's on the Switch. Okay, yeah. Which also a lot of people were criticizing because the Switch is so much more expensive than the yeah. DS. But obviously it's better, and they're not going to make any more DSs. That's like, what oh, that's they their say. strategy. That's their strategy is going that way. But, yeah. Anyways. But Alola, it looks like we had Rowlet. Can, yeah. Yeah. Just to finish the three, yeah. Rowlet, which is like a grass owl. So it looks like an owl. Uh, Litten, which is like a fire kitten. He's so cute. And then Pope Leo, which is like a seal, it's a little like water a seal. seal. He's cute. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I would probably pick Rowlet because of flying. I, was I like say flying Pokemon. Rowlet yeah. too. I like flying Pokemon. One of the like I always Pidgeot was in my party from the Yeah, that's one of your favorites. I caught my very first Pidgey and leveled him up to 100, and he never left my party ever. Yeah, and I, I like it. flying Pokemon, and I think that's cool. Yeah. So, I, you know. We're going to talk about favorite Pokemon, too, so. Yeah, I think, and he looks like he evolves into a grass ghost type, and ghost type is one of those other ones that's underrated. Yeah. It's uh, actually really cool in this one. So, Rowlet, uh, 
His evolution, his last one is Grass Ghost. Litten is Fire Dark. And then Pablito, Pablio is um, Water, Water Fairy, Fairy type, yeah. which is super cool. I think that if... I want to play it, yeah. I would play... I would have played Pablio too. The, that really seems... Like yeah, that. I think I would have... Yeah, I would have probably as well. Yeah. But, and so, yeah, so for as far as the types go, they do just have the basic types. Galar, yeah, well. because they haven't announced anything else. Yeah. But so, how about... And I think I would, I'll probably end up doing Sobble. Sobble, yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> I was thinking Sobble. <laughs> just, to, just to do it. Yeah, just to yeah. do it. I mean, just the to fact stick that with he, water, you know, yeah, that's what I, I think, keep doing, so. Yeah, I think that he's going to be, or she, they're going to be um, a good starter Pokemon, really, to, to have. Just with the being able to use, like, I think it has, like, acid skin and invisibility, and then it's got, like, Water, what is it? What's the one that Squirtle has? Like water blast, water beam, water gun? Yeah. It's one of those. Yeah, yeah, and it'll it'll learn others and stuff too, so. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Super fun. Oh, these are really cool. We'll have to look back through these. Yeah, they're just showing the, like, max stats of the evolutions. So you can basically see which one is more powerful. So, like, if you look at Charizard, right, like, 534 versus everybody else's total stat. Right. Right. Uh same with it looks like the fire type is basically always the most powerful besides for mudkip was actually the most powerful of his 535 versus 530 and 530 nice yeah uh and then for Infernape. i yeah. can't i can't with these names. they leveled out in gen like uh the one after infernape there whatever that is um with embor they leveled yeah. out they're all 528 mm. which is you know i think that they should try to make that yeah that that's what they should try to do but obviously it's hard you, you build them up as they go Oh, and then they also have, like, Mega Evolution. We'll definitely post this. Yeah, it's just Bulbapedia, which is, like, Wikipedia for Pokemon. So, yeah, we yeah. should post it, yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. But let's is, uh, yeah. let's move on in this the discussion. The stars are really cool. We're excited for Gen 8. We're definitely going to... announce Gen 8 Legendaries and all? Um, I don't believe so. Man, because that's another thing I really like. They the mostly... Legendary Birds, the Legendary Dogs, the yeah. Legendary whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for this particular game and this particular announcement, they announced that it was going to be a new setting, so Galar, um, and then the new starter Pokemon they announced. They announced some other stuff in it too. I just can't remember all of it. Yeah, this information is like will important. come eventually. And the, yeah. It's supposed to come out fall of 2019 or the end of this year. So. Okay, cool. That's actually not as long as I thought it would take. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Another thing that they revealed is that they are doing a remake of uh, Mewtwo. So, Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember going to that movie and getting a Mew card. Yeah, same. Yeah. I remember. that. Was, it was I still so have, much fun. Oh, uh, man. Now, I don't know where my Pokemon cards are. My brother might have them. Uh, my brother has mine, I think. Yeah. I think but I, still yeah, I still, I, we have like eight of those Mew cards. So yeah. I remember, like, yeah. <laughs> That was, it was a pretty fun, you know, movie to go see. I don't want to ruin it for any of you kiddos that haven't seen it. Um, it tells me two story. Yeah, yeah it cool. tells me two story. And then it's also really sad because you have Ash in it and uh, the gang. And so they're redoing it, though, in kind of a... 3D style, 3D I guess. 3D animated, yeah. yeah. Animated 3D um, kind of version. So yeah. that's going to be in theaters in Japan... July 12th, 2019. Is it planned to come to the U.S. or not at all? Uh, there is no Western release that's been confirmed, but international, it says international details will come out soon. So okay, they don't so have they will protect. probably. But yeah, okay, cool. exactly. So that'd be cool. We'll definitely and then, see uh, that. Trading theaters. cards, too? Are they doing new trading cards for the new gen? No, I just wanted to talk about trading cards. It, well, they probably about... will, though. They'll come out. Uh, have they come out trading cards every I generation? I think they... I don't I know. Th- I oh, they, they do. They have yeah. them in the store. Yeah. So, yeah. and I don't know who actually... Um, Buys them, so... Who, yeah, publishes them before it was Wizards of the Coast, which I had... Uh, yeah. I totally spaced on that. On yeah, they made the trading cards, yeah. Yeah. No, I knew that they did, like... A Pokemon training card game. I used to play all the time with my brother. We had the mats. I had the Pokedex yeah. kind of sleeves. Uh, we were just trying to collect them all, to be honest. Yeah. And we got we, all 150 of the original. And then after that, I never really got... I didn't get them the cards for any of the other gens. Same. Me uh, neither. So that's why I was like, did they make them? But If you're still like into... 
Pokemon, the trading card game, let us know. Like, is that still kind of a cool thing? That yeah, I bet there's, like, probably people who still just collect. And then there are probably people that actually play. Yeah. That would be the one I'm more surprised on. Because... I'll be Playing honest. It was really fun. It, it's like Magic the Gathering. Right. But I was going to say, Magic the Gathering I got into afterwards was like... Yeah, that it's was way more complex, recent, you know? too, for you. A more well, recent. Well, I got into it a little then in high school with, like, a buddy who played yeah. it, you know? We played we played Pokemon, the trading card game, like, when it came out in, like, 1998. Right, exactly. Like way, way back in the day, yeah. And then, you know, before I really got into, like, buying cards into the next generation, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit, and then we played, we started playing Magic, because it, and then, that, that it ended all, died off. yeah, it ended all other card games, because why would you play another card game when you play Magic? Right. I right. mean, I think that's, like, something that they're trying to, like, kind of bring back so it's not just like the only card game that you're playing is like magic the gathering there's all these different trading card games because they i now that i remember it i think kids are still into playing pokemon i think so yeah Yeah, that makes sense i think i think it's a fun i think kids are dumber they are a little so they need a game they need a little easier easier. game yeah they and watch that's too I, much TV. There's yeah. a they watch too much YouTube as a child, and there's and, a well, you just lady know too, telling like, them uh, to go kill themselves, and so now they right. But it's also like a matter of if kids were to play with adults that play Magic the Gathering, they'd probably end up crying because some like you know gatekeeping dude would be like, you can't actually play that card that way. Right. I think Everybody does that in Magic. I, I think in Pokemon, it's like. There's only two moves on the card, and I yeah, you know, I did the, the cost, I did that move. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't it's tap the good, card, but that's fine. I don't know. It's a good gateway drug. Yeah, it's a gateway drug. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, probably some people play it because they want this like super casual and they want to be connected to Pokemon, which is super awesome. Yeah. You know, so that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool to know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, trading card game. What else we got going on here? Yeah. So, I've always talked about. So, you talked a little bit about what your favorite Pokemon is, and. Who is that? Tell I think Mewtwo is probably my favorite. So I, we looked for this app to see, like, it was supposed to help you eliminate so, to your Pokemon, yes. which there's like a thousand Pokemon. Yeah. So you're sitting there, so like, thing, I like this guy over this guy, and, this, and you know, yeah. it Forever. gets old really And the quick. reason why we were doing that is because in Japan right now, there's a company that's doing like all these like Pokemon prints that on like shirts, like nice button up t shirt or button up shirts. Uh, like dress shirts for work and I was trying to see if I could get one for Jesse but it's only in Japan right now but I was asking what his favorite Pokemon is yeah and so Mewtwo is probably Mewtwo wasn't the, an option yeah Mewtwo is probably the one I'll land on though just because because you're lame no, I mean, he's got a better story than any of the other Pokemon. Uh, that's why I think it's lame, because that's kind of like a, oh, the most, one of the most developed characters yeah. in the entire story, and actually has cognitive thought and can speak, yep. is your favorite. And he's probably, like, the most powerful uh, as far as, like, kind of reasonable Pokemon go. Because, of course, you go with, like, the god Pokemon, right? Like, they're not fun, though. You know, like, uh, when they start getting into, they control all of time. This one controls all of space. And it's like, no, I'm not interested. No, I just want That's like, not what I'm interested in. That's not what I'm here for. Yeah, like powerful Pokemon, I think is cool, right? Especially mm-hmm. when they're like, you know, got a good story too. And they're one of a kind. That's kind of cool. Because I always did like the legendary Pokemon, like not the god ones, but like the legendary birds. Yeah, I did like You know, the we're kind of cool, birds. yeah. Yeah. And Mewtwo is kind of like a legendary bird, but, you know. Without... Not a bird at all. Yeah. Uh, he was, you know, I, I just like it. I like Psychic, too. Back in the day, Psychic was my original, like, type preference. So I had, like, Alakazam, Mewtwo, mm. you know, uh, Golduck. Oh, Psyduck. Yeah. And Golduck, yeah. Yeah, Golduck. But yeah, so that was probably my favorite Pokemon. What about yours? Um, so I've always been drawn to Eevee. Um, and it's mostly because she has so many, like, different options. Options, yeah, and... I mean, that story to me is kind of nice where it's like, you're, you could have this set evolution, but you can branch. You can, you could be more than yeah, and just that. And so that always kind of spoke to me. It was kind of, I mean. So which one is your favorite Eevee, Eevolution? Eve, 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 I think that's what they call them, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was always really into, um, Jolteon. 
Like you. I always really also liked Umbreon. I liked Umbreon too. Yeah. Like when they introduced Umbreon and uh, Espeon, Espeon. at the and, same time, yeah. Yeah, and that's where the Dark and Psychic, right, which are two kind of counter uh, yeah. powers were really good, and they introduced that. And then who else do they have? That's what... I mean, I still like, uh, I mean... Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon. I never really used this. I don't think I ever got to play Sylveon, but I played Glaceon once. I think I've seen, either watched gameplay with Glaceon, or I've actually been able to play a Glaceon, but, I mean, there's nothing better than the original three, Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon, like, those are always classics that you could go with, and I always really enjoyed them. But yeah, I'd probably say Umbreon is my favorite if we're choosing. If I'm if I'm being choosy, you can pick any of them, yeah. Because they also so they have this Sylveon as a fairy type. Yeah, that's that's why I haven't gotten to play it because I haven't gotten to really. Yeah, that means it had to have come out in at least X Y or in later, uh, yeah. a later version. I I'm trying. I don't have a list of what, uh, where they came from, right or whatever. Right which generations they came from but yeah I, th- I i would actually think that like so if i had a choice sylveon would be one that i would i would definitely play as uh umbreon super cool looking though yeah espeon of course is good but you know yeah like I, jolteon was always a classic favorite yeah so that's always good i see the value in a lot of these though eevee has like a lot of potential yeah so that's it's a good pokemon for sure yeah and that was and she was always the cutest and i'd always try to collect my when i got the trading cards i would always try to collect the most of yeah. Eevee for some weird reason just because i don't know she just yeah you like she it she always yeah. spoke to me it was always to like here's the problem now though so i'm not sure if you play i've played pokemon this way yet but if you play Pokemon with the stats and you're trying to get, like, the best Pokemon, the problem with Pokemon that evolve from stones is, like, there's, like, a right level, depending on the sex of the Pokemon, depending on the stats they already have, because, like, not, a, not all Pokemon are the same. They have, like, slightly different stats. Mm-hmm. So you have to look up your Pokemon stats, determine their sex, determine the right level to use it, and determine the right moves you gotta have before you use the stone. Because once they go on the stone, they're on a different evolution path. Right. Right. Which So stone Pokemon are just a huge, complicated mess. Right. It is a lot more complicated. I will say, am I someone that genuinely cares about all those extra stats and shit? No. Yeah, I'm well, not. so then you should care about, though, the, like, okay, like, I might want to evolve them into uh, Jolteon now, but if I wait, maybe Umbreon yeah. will be better. But maybe at this time, I'll already have a Lightning Pokemon, and you know. So right. it is something that you really have to plan ahead, especially if like you get an Eevee and you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this to the end. Let's start kind of planning this out. And right, because you get your gonna... Eevee like most of the pretty time, early. pretty like yeah, not late, not too early, but like right. a good point where you might say. I've got this gaping hole. I need a lightning Pokemon. Mm, I have a gaping hole. Let's fill it. Yeah. I need lightning. Yeah. (laughs) Or you might say like, but if I wait, I can get ice later, which would be much more beneficial late game, but then I still have to suffer without having a lightning. It's complicated. Right. Exactly. It's complicated. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's my favorite Pokemon. And I will say, it's not an evolution. It's Eevee. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Eevee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eevee because of the choices. You're still yeah. going to evolve your Eevee. You're not going right. to evolve not, them. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I like Let's Go Eevee because you can't evolve your Eevee. So you kind of just get a little pet who can kick ass because they can level with you. Um, so I do really like having yeah. Eevee. Okay, cool. Well, so, okay, then the last thing we have to really hammer out before I think we just wrap and go into what we're gonna the do the rest of the stuff yeah 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 is because we talked about it a little bit the legendary pokemon yeah so because like so that's your favorite pokemon what's your favorite legendary then because there's they, they should be separate right they should just right. be considered separate and i know so we can kind of go over it gen one was the birds yep legendary uh, birds which if i had to pick between the birds too i always kind of lean towards zapdos uh, for the birds, though I yeah. like I, I, like to be honest with you, the one I had in my party was always usually Articuno because I, I already was had. Say, my favorite was um, Articuno, so yeah, because you, you I there was no other ice Pokemon that I had. I think the only other ice po- Pokemon were like Dudong, Seal Guy. Is that the name? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, 
Mewtwo is technically a legendary Pokemon now. I uh, told you, yeah. So list. you can't. So okay. Mewtwo's so my favorite legendary to... then. So then my favorite Pokemon would be. Yeah, there's just like calling. so many. I have no idea. No, you have to. You have to pick one. Yeah. I'm going to have to think about it. I'll, I'll announce it on social media. No, 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 no. You have to announce it right here, right now, for episode Well, nine. I don't see Mew on this list, so I pick Mew then. No, it... Okay, yeah, you're actually He's not right. on this but list. But that's so stupid. He that's, should be on this list. Yeah, I don't... I don't yeah. I don't Babe, like, just pick Pidgey. You love Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey. I, I do really like Pidgeot, too. Like, I would always Pidgeot. evolve him, but yeah, like... And he, they were always that, in that like, party as long as I could. Because yeah. he has like those feathers that yeah. kind of slick back. Which and he's is normal and he's kind of basic. But yeah, probably, yeah, I'd say Pidgeot would actually be a good one. Yeah, yeah which so. I really like that it's not like some stupid, crazy. Yeah, because yeah, like, you know, you want somebody that has fly, right? Like you get fly as soon as you get it. You want to have a bird Pokemon. And half the time I'd be like, well... Like, or the first couple times I got there, you're like, okay, well, I don't have any bird Pokemon that I like mm -hmm. that can learn fly. I have to get rid of one of these good Pokemon in my party to get a Pokemon that has fly so I could actually travel fast. Right. So I was like, I'm sticking with Pidgey, and he's going to be in my party the whole time, and I'm going to learn to like him. And yeah. <laughs> I'm going to like this. And he stays there the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pidgey out. There you I go. will say, I do have another favorite Pokemon that is uh, one that I would kind of seek out. And that would be ghost Pokemon, like Haunter. Like I think I've... Gengar is uh, Richard's favorite Pokemon. Is it really? I think so. Yeah. Gengar, my man, yeah. Richard. He's got one That's hanging dope. in his office. That's oh, <laughs> does yeah. he? Okay. Cause that, so yeah, I just always liked the ghost kind of Pokemon. Yeah, ghost Pokemon are cool for sure, and it's a cool type. So okay, so yeah, so moving yeah. on though, Going legendaries. To the legendaries, yeah. Uh, the legendary beast, the dogs, right? They were uh, the dogs. Yeah, they, there's an ice one, a fire one, a lightning one. Same like basic principle, just yeah. dogs instead of birds. So, and I would always like they were hard to catch though, because like the birds, they were in a set location, you go to them and you catch them. Right. These ones were just random encounters, and they'd run away, so you had to like instantly hit them with sleep or master ball or something. Yeah. To so, be honest with you, I just struggled to catch them most of the time. I didn't have time to pick a favorite because they were such a pain to catch. Yeah. So, uh, then what do we got? We've got uh, the Tower Duo. Yeah. Uh, which... Lugia? 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 Yeah. How do you pronounce that, I actually? I think it's... Uh... Ho-Oh and Lugia. 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 Uh, now that know. you've said it, you've, like, I don't, yeah, I don't fucked know. me up, but now I don't know how it's pronounced. Lugia. I don't know. Lugia. Yeah. yeah, I always played silver. My brother played gold when we were playing the games. Yeah. yeah he, got, he got gold, I got silver, so I always got Lugia. Yeah. And he got Ho-Oh when we trade for the info and then trade back... Y'all are so lame. Yeah, it was great though because we got all we got all the we completed our Pokédex. So, yeah. see, I don't know that I have a favorite out of those ones. Uh, I think I always really liked Ho. -Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Rainbow bird. I like the yeah. Yeah. Rainbow so. bird, just like me. Yeah. Legendary Titans. I've never. Next. That is something that I am not familiar with. Yeah, because I think we're around the time mm -hmm. when you didn't play, but, like, yeah, I played this game and I remember going after the Titans and I think the. I think really went with Registeel probably because Steel was like a popular thing then. Playing a Steel Pokemon was cool, mm -hmm. so you had a cool Steel Pokemon. Uh, then it looks like we're back to a duo. I hate when they do duos because then I'm like, oh no, I gotta pick between, now those between two. the two of those. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's do this. Let's not go through all the rest of the Pokemon or legendary Pokemon because I have no idea who they are. But you don't like let even us... like the Groudon. No. Well, like, I remember the trio from X and Y. Or the little y. tiny dudes. Yeah, the, like, dudes from the Lake Guardians. You have to go to the lake uh, and catch The them. reason why I'm saying this is because we're at an hour and a half on our podcast already. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll move on. But, yeah, Diamond But tell and, me, what's your, and, uh, what is your choice for um, Mewtwo. legendary Pokemon? Okay, it's so you're Mewtwo, sticking with yeah, Mewtwo? Since, yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. I'll go with Mewtwo as well. Yeah. I think that's what everybody's choice would probably be. Yeah, I mean, he's the coolest. I mean, a lot of these other ones, right? Yeah, of course. They're, like, super powerful, and they've yeah, got really cool, cool kind of stories and stuff. But no, yeah. like, Mewtwo's more down-to-earth, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, he's so down-to-earth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's not All time right. and space. It's yep. psychic, powerful. Psychic, powerful. Yeah. Anyways, so that was our uh, podcast. Yeah. We rambled a lot about Pokemon. I have to pee, it's so let's, it. let's um, wrap this up. Giveaway prompt. Yeah. Giveaway prompt. Uh, so what we want from you guys, since we talked about it a bunch, is your favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, if you want to, you know, tell us your favorite normal Pokemon, your favorite legendary Pokemon, DM it to us. 
just like yep. last time. Yep, social media. Yep, and if you can send uh, proof, a screenshot or something that you mm-hmm. did a uh, review yep. on your favorite podcast platform at iTunes, whatever it is, yep. five stars and wrote out a review and you sent yep. it to us. I'm not going to pander we'll for how friends. many stars. No, you just get five. You get five entries. You get five. Basically, you get five when you do a review. Um, so let's kind of go. Only four if you only give us four stars now. So that's it. <laughs> that's true. Depending so. on how many stars you give us, that's how many yeah, uh, exactly. entries you get. Um, but yeah, so that's our giveaway. Uh, it's for a chance to win Kingdom Hearts 3 again on your platform of choice. So we're not going to like force you to get the PlayStation copy. Yeah. Know, that's what we did. Right, like exactly. PlayStation. Um, and we might give away multiple copies because we're feeling generous. Uh, yeah. Just leaving it out there. Yep. So, so send us your favorite Pokemon. Yep. So um, you're going to get Kingdom Hearts 3 and you're going to get our new t-shirt. Oh, yes. The t-shirt. I, well, because it's so delayed, I keep forgetting. And Kingdom no. Hearts 3 is way more yeah, exciting. Yeah, we've already so. done. No, our t-shirt's just as exciting. Maybe. I didn't wait like 12 years for our t-shirt, though. Uh, you've waited your whole goddamn life, which is almost 30, Jesse. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So you have five opportunities uh, from last episode to answer our secret prompts. They all show up at the end of the episode. So starting from episode 8 to episode 12, you're going to get five opportunities to answer prompts. Last week was favorite anime. This week is favorite Pokemon. Who knows what next week will be? Well, Probably something related to our topic, whatever, whatever that ends that up being. Is. Yeah, because yeah, we don't plan these things in advance. Nope. Um, each prompt would be different, and you have until March 31st to answer them all for five entries into the contest in that particular way to enter into the contest. Right, which is to DM us on social media. Yep, at Co op the Podcast, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and you could wait until March 31st to give us your answers. Or you could just do it week by week and we can have cute little conversations. I've been doing that a little bit over the week. But I didn't know people were actually sending stuff in, so I will start doing yeah, that. Yeah, so, you should. Yeah, I'll jump on it's the conversation soon. It's for your birthday. Too. So, um, like Jesse said, direct message us your answers. Um, if you don't do that and you say, hey, this is my answer to the secret prompt, and you just post that on Twitter and you tag us in it, it won't count. It and we might just cancel come. that entire prompt for yeah. everybody. Yeah, exactly. I'll be I like the bad teacher. I'll turn this car around. Yeah. I'll turn it around. We're trying to just reward the... Listeners. The, our listeners, because we love you guys. It's secret prompts for it's a reason. Secret. Yeah. Um, and then, like we said, send us proof of a review on the podcast host of your choice, and you get five more entries, uh, or doubling your opportunity for entries. Um, I think that the only place that uh, you can't actually add a review, I'm not sure because I, I don't have an Android phone, is Google Play. So you can um, add reviews, I think. Yeah. Can you? Because I got I, the Android phone. I've never looked. Oh, okay. We'll look later. Um, right. So get creative on how you add a review. If you download the iTunes app or the podcast app for somehow and you leave a review that way, who knows? We might double your points for just how dedicated you are right we do all this on the fly so. yeah we don't we're riding by the seat of our pants yeah so yeah um keep the prompt to yourself like we said but let all your friends know about our contest you guys could win copies of kingdom hearts 3 and you guys could play together and you guys could get matching shirts and be all matchy matchy it's not a multiplayer game but you can still it's not, play, you can together, play it yeah. together but not co-op yeah not together not, not shared yeah. screen bullshit that doesn't exist anymore in games um so yeah cool all right Bye. well like we said follow us on social media at co-op the podcast that's facebook twitter instagram yep. or co-op the podcast.com if you want to hit our website up uh, yeah. where we will have the merch uh on there so you can follow those links and stuff so yes 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 and we're gonna start doing blog posts and stuff eventually once we yeah. get more so definitely time. check that out yeah yeah um, uh, and then, yeah. There in YouTube as well. Check us out on YouTube. Um, rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast host of choice, and tell your friends. Yeah, tell everybody. Yeah. Yep. And you can find us directly too if you want on the same platforms at yes. Jesse C O underscore O P, and at Raven underscore Co op or Coop. Yep. 
So check us out. Check out the podcast. Uh, you're already checking it out, but that's fine. Hey, check, out all the other check ones. it out some uh, more. And yeah, we appreciate all the support. All right. Yep. Bye, guys. Okay, bye.